What up, folks? We're going to be talking about some great metal records coming out in September. These are some of our favorite albums that are coming out probably in the entire year. You need to check some of these out. September is stacked as hell. We're going to kick it off with the 1st of September with Sown Memorial. This is Martin Lopez of old Opeth fame. Fantastic band. Pretty excited to check this one out. Yeah, man, this should be pretty cool. Their old album definitely reminded me of like Opeth Light, you know, Opeth 2.0. Yeah, to um, Opeth. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it should be definitely worth checked out. What? Should be worth death checked out. <laughs> what an idiot. We got a black metal release, Marduk, Memento Mori. I mean, everyone knows who Marduk is. It's one of the best in the genre and kind of unappreciated in my opinion. Yeah, dude, Panzer Division is like one of my most favorite. <laughs> fucking black metal records. I listened to the singles and it was weird, but it caught on. So I'm definitely pretty anticipated. We're going to spin it. All right, our friends from New England and Ice Giant are releasing Ghost of Humanity, a fantastic local band. They're kind of up and coming. You should definitely check them out. Yeah, they're uh, launching a tour, an East Coast tour, along with this album. Um, if you like your heavy power, thrash, melodic death kind of fusion, you need to check this band out for sure. Don't melt the ice giant. The band like makes the board game. <laughs> yeah, it's like their board game. Now. Yeah, yeah. They partner with like Hasbro. Yeah, make <laughs> millions. <laughs> One of the more underappreciated melodic death bands, in my opinion, Silosis have a sign of things to come coming out on September 8th. I'm super pumped for this one. Yeah, man, I think this is going to join the ranks of one of the better melodic death, progressive, technical, kind of like Stortrin and other bands in, in this genre that we absolutely love. Yeah, they're going to end up on a list for sure. Uwada, Crepuscle Natura, coming out on September 8th. Every time I read this, it makes me think of Ace Ventura when nature calls. Crepuscular. This is not Ace Ventura at all. This is a fantastic American black metal band from the Pacific Northwest. If you haven't heard of them, fix that. Yeah, dude, their last album was fantastic. I'm really loving like the heavy metal goth tinged vibes here. And the, the blend with like the black metal is so good. Death Metal fans! Cryptopsy as Gamora Burns. Released September 8th. It's Cryptopsy, dude. We're gonna get some slamming riffs. Flo Marnier is the last original member, but it sounds to me like since they've taken such a long time off, 11 years about, they kind of just want to return to their roots, deliver like a fucking just crushing record. I'm really excited for this. They might crypt tops themselves. Dying fetus, make them beg for death. All right, we got the death metal masters coming back to the fold. I'm a little bit more of a misery index fan personally. Not that there needs to be one is better than the other, but we got a new dying fetus record. It's going to be lots of burps and lots of low tune guitar chords. <laughs> yeah, dude. And you know, what's really cool too, is they're not afraid to like lean into that technical stuff and not have it sound like they just learned their fucking instruments, which some of their older records. It, yeah. That's like that. Destroy this, the opposition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is a lot more honed in um, wicked, cool melodies, wicked, cool grooves. It's gonna fucking be awesome. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm super pumped for it. All 
Transcending Obscurity has a fantastic release coming out. This is Thorn Evergloom. I feel like Transcending Obscurity are just like masters of discovering those weird gems of Death Doom. So if you love Death Doom, definitely check this out. Dude, I scoped one of the singles and I was just like, yeah, give me some more of this, man. This is really cool, cutting edge shit. Transcending yeah. Obscurity, like they, yeah, they know how to find some really cool bands. They're unparalleled with picking them. It's kind of crazy, actually. Damnation's Hammer into the Silent Nebula. Are Nebulas always silent? I feel like this is a Doom band. I guess Aaron Stainthorpe is doing guest vocals on the record. Yeah, he's uh, there's a bunch of like guest narrators and vocals. They have a song called Sutter Kane. Do you read Sutter Kane? What? It should be cool. If you like Doom, put it on your radar. Tesseract, The War of Being on September 15th. I love this band. One of the best in the prog, gent, progressive metal genre. Just pushing all kinds of boundaries. A lot of fun. Yeah, man, for real. I mean, since Akeldama is like, they've just been on like this wild trajectory and I just want to hear everything that they do. There's not an album that I don't want to listen to by this band. Their vocalist is unbelievable too. Oh boy! Yo! Cannibal Corpse Chaos Horrific releasing September 22nd. The singles for this are absolutely bonkers. And this is just, I mean, it's Cannibal Corpse. If you don't like them, then you're not a metalhead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gatekeeping right here, yeah. folks. Yeah. <laughs> These are the kings of death metal, man. And, you know, with such great death metal coming out, to see Cannibal Corpse still just pumping them out like at a machine gun pace. They're still awesome. Yeah. That's unbelievable, man. I wonder if George Fisher's neck has like rings like a tree, because like, I feel like it gets bigger every year. <laughs> like if you were to saw it and you, you can count like the rings of how many windmills he's had. Yeah. 14 million windmills. So yeah, that's how you track George Fisher's neck. Let's get an autopsy on George Fisher when he yeah. passes away. That's how you count his windmills <laughs> is the rings. September 29th, Harm's Way, Common Suffering, it's Harm's Way. It is going to be great, heavy, hardcore goodness. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna fucking have to like lift things up and put them down when I'm listening to this. Dude, Post Human was like one of my favorite of like in this genre. I'm really excited for this one. Yeah, one of the best bands in the genre by far. Sacrifier, The Art of Decay, releasing September 29th. This is a German gothic doom band, so if you like gothic doom, put it on your list. Yeah, I was looking up the members of this band and there's a lot of experience. There's definitely going to be some uh, really focused material here, so pretty excited for it. We love our doom. Code Orange, the above. These guys are back, man. I'm super excited. I love everything like that Code Orange has put out, especially recently. The last two records were fantastic. The above, I think, is gonna be really good. We're gonna get industrial goodness, lots of experimentation. It'll be fun. There's a lot of talent in that band, that's for sure. Speaking of talent, Primordial, how it ends. One of my favorite vocalists ever is in this band. I love this band so much. Every 
super excited for this one. Super overlooked, man. I feel like not enough people talk about Primordial. They are just one of the best in like this like gothic melodic death doom they're just their own thing too but they fit so nicely into like that subgenre. yeah and like they, you said they're like black metal but with all the genres that you said which yeah. is really interesting the vocals are like <sighs> yeah crazy yeah super crazy Last but not least, Wolves in the Throne Room, Crypt of Ancestral Knowledge. It's going to be more great, natural, Cascadian black metal. What more could you want? Yeah, man. No, I mean, this is one of the bands that we have always just kept our eye on. They've always been on our radar. Just fantastic American black metal. We saw them in Boston and they set off the alarm because they had too much sage lit in the building. <laughs> And the fire department came and we were waiting outside in the car and I was sitting with Amanda and this firefighter comes to the door and knocks on the window and he's like, who's playing tonight? My friend, she goes, wolves in the throne room. And the guy goes, wolves and what? <laughs> totally not a black metal fan. Such a funny, funny circumstance. I love that story. <laughs> so good. That's, that lives rent free in my head and it always will. <laughs> what are you looking forward to in September? Drop it down in the comments below and check out some of our other videos right here. Go with the gods, forge mates, the crypt of ancestral knowledge awaits. <laughs> <laughs>